Test, 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 test. Test, test, test. Test, 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 test. Yo. Ahem. <clears throat> Already cool, 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 cool. Hello, 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 hello. Show Aaron or Cat. Aaron is doing work. Um, what's up, everybody? Thank you for the 20 months to Delta Requiem. Today, we're doing a really quick stream. I'm gonna be hurrying a little bit. Um, because I am one encounter away from being, I think, done with all my encounters. Um, and so my goal is just to, I want to get there quickly. I have other things I need to do today. Um, so yeah, so we're, but I, I can't plan for Elite Four until I get this final encounter. Unfortunately, there's a ton of trainers before then. So, um, yeah, so basically I'm just going to try and quickly blow through this. Um, I think that for this first trainer, I want Mensa Maldo. Got a certain, um, should be fine. Aqua Cat Nine Tails, thank you for 60 months. Do you like Duraludon? Uh, yeah, I don't mind Duraludon, sure. Um. Okay, let's see here. Um, I need to watch out for Soul Rock. Okay, it's fine. I'll just do, um, really quickly. So I have, basically, for those of you who just joined, yeah, I watched, I was actually on the Metro watching, just like, <laughs> rooting for Yon. I was like, I couldn't listen with, uh, I couldn't listen with, whatever, with, uh, volume or anything, but. Yeah, I watched it happen. It was really... And then I got back and I finished watching it. I'm really happy for him. Um, okay, cool. If I kill one of moth, it brings in Meganium, and then that's fan from there. So that's cool. Okay, these two should work. Um, let's just grab random mons that I think are good. I don't really want to bring Slowbro because it's kind of essential. Um, what other mons can I use? This is like all... Okay, this is all like... Um, I need a Waterfall mon, right? So let's grab Kingdra. Where's my Kingdra? I didn't sack it. My Kingdra, level 100. Waterfall. Let's surf Waterfall, right? Grab a Surf Mon, that'll be like, I don't know. Lantern is a solid Mon, because it's a Surf. Um, Starmie's super solid. I'll use Starmie over Lantern. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll do like Starmie. This is all double battles, so I want to use Mons that are like relatively quick, I think. Starmie, Sceptile, and then, yeah, I guess the Lanterns. Uh, I mean, I should probably have a Fortress, all right. So they're level 100, they are. They're ready Lumberry. Yeah, so basically, um, I just have to get this last encounter, and then I can finish my planning for the- or, like, start actually planning for Elite Four, because I'll know all my tools. Um, however, until I finish my encounters, I won't really know what I'm working with, so... Yeah. Let's see. So, yeah, basically, right now, where we have to go is Route 123. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything here. I've done Meteor Falls, I failed that. I've done- I haven't done 133, I've done Victory Road. Cool. Okay, cool. So then this is- yeah, this is my final encounter. Fly immense. We're trying to go to 123, which is over here, right? I think I need more super repels as well. I don't need them actually. Okay, this is 123. Basically, in order to advance, there's nothing valuable over here, as I recall. In order to advance, I need to beat several trainers in double battles, so let's just do that really quickly. It should be pretty straightforward, I think. Uh, I can just go for Air Slash here, and X's are here. Kill. Deflect. Don't get the kill. That's fine. This last one is, um... It's Meganium, or a Got this. Oh, got this, the Quick Block. Alright, that's fine. Air Slash, and uh, X's are. No Quick Block. This is Soul Rock. This is AP, so I'm gonna switch into here. Before X is there. Okay. The last mod on this team is what? Uh, Tipno. So I just go for Signal Beam. Soul Rock doesn't have anything that can really spook me, right? Yeah, I can't really spook me. AP boost on me. Signal Beam. I shouldn't be able to lose it to anything here. Does the Signal have Fire Punch? No, it doesn't. It's best move is Psychic here, so time to go to Starmie here. Yeah, that's the first round. Okay. Cool, good stuff.
Okay, cool. That's the first trainer. There's like a ton of them. Next up is Ninja Boy Jonas. They have level seven Quick Claw Why Not, whose only move is Destiny Bond. So basically, for this, should I go switch teams? I wonder. Um, I should probably switch teams here. I'm gonna switch teams. Right. I wanna. I mean, this shouldn't take too long, but yeah. Let's think about this. So the next trainer is they have Shedinja. So I need to. I'll lead off with Ments. Then they go into Weezing. I believe Gardevoir is slower than my Ments. Wait, do they go into Weezing after that if I have Gardevoir? Ments plus Weezing plus... Maybe I should do Mischievous. It's Salic Berry Weezing with Gunk Shot. Um, let's see how much my Salamence does to the Weezing. Uh, no, I won't be doing any point redemption today, y'all. I'm trying to go as fast as possible because I don't have a ton of time. So I hope you'll understand. Um, yeah, please understand. Um, so let's see here. This is Jonas... We chose not to go for my Lodic and we failed Metagross. So, okay, we kill we, we kill Shininja with Air Slash. Um, I need to lead off with a Mon, like... Uh, I need to lead off with a Mon that... Has Toxic, which I blew up my Quillfish. So I guess I have to use Makar... I need to lead off with Mischievous, basically. So, I mean, Mence Mischievous here, and then in the back... Mence plus Mischievous beats this whole team, I think. Um, I don't need Starmie, I think. Oh, that has Surf. Um... Let's see here. This should work, right? Because then I can just skill swap and then just go into Mr. Plus Mence and finish off stuff from there. Um, it is... Is the Wobble Effect Quick Claw? It is not. Okay, cool. Um, that's fine. Um, the rest of my mods don't really matter here. All I need is, all I need is Mischievous plus Ments, and then I can beat this whole team, probably. So the, the, I guess I should maybe think about the other next trainer up after this, which is Mischievous, Gent, Gendra, Kingdra, Electrode, Exploud, and Ludicolo. I'll just come back again. It's easiest that way, right? I'm not even sure, model. I don't need to test it. It's fine. Alright. This should be easy enough. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm really, to be clear, I'm very, very, very happy to be on. I mean, I don't, I don't think I had to be clear about it. Like, I think he put so much work in, and it's like, I don't know. I'm really, I'm really, like, I think I would have been, I mean, I, I, he seems like a guy with really strong, um, like, I don't think, like, I don't think it would have been, like, you know, uh, you know, awful for him. Well, it probably would have been pretty awful. He's put a year into this game, and so, like, to make it to the end, like, once and fail is bad enough, so... I'm really happy that he did it, and I think it's very well-deserved. I, my team, uh, I'm a little worried about, for the record. I do not know if we're gonna have... I wouldn't call his e E4 run smooth. Like, there was definitely some... Like, especially the Swamp Road on Ludi section. I couldn't hear the commentary, because I was on the Metro, but... It didn't look fun to, to me, at least. Oh, this is not correct. I don't know what the team I need. I need my Macargo. Otherwise, I'm super done for. Although, I actually could just beat it anyway. Just use PP Stall. Where's Macargo? Give me your mag. Time to do some more work. Uh, Fortress is so good. I'll keep in the party. Um, but yeah, we don't my, we don't have the fight that I'm always the most worried for in this run in this game is Glacia, and I don't have anything that outspeeds and KOs the Glalie, which makes my run a lot spookier. Like what Yon was able to do is he had a Relicanth with Swift Swim, so he was able to kill the he was able to consecutively kill the Regice Ice and or Glalie and then the Regice Ice. I don't have anything like that, right? I don't have any Mon that does that. I have, I think I have stronger Mons for other sections of the game, for sure. Uh, I do not have any Mon that is... Are you taking the Lily Fortinade? No, not at all. I just need to get my last encounter. Um, once I get my last encounter, I can start planning for E4. I mean, I have a general idea of which Mons I'm bringing, but I could, I'm, gonna just, I'm not going to just... Like, last time I think I was too unwilling to think outside the box and think for myself. I think this time will be a bit more... I'm going to make sure I've explored all the possibilities. Uh, we still lead with Mr. Vis, right? That's correct. Okay. okay. This should be fine. I'm gonna turn off the music because I'm using speed up. I just need to be careful here. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so this is Air Slash into Shedinja and Psychic into Shedinja. Shedinx. Air Slash into Shedinja and Psychic into Shedinja. What happened? Why did my attack fail? I don't understand what just happened. But I Air Slash into Weezing and Psychic into Weezing. Okay, that's good. And now I wanna go for. Ooh, that's not good, is it? Um, I'm gonna go for fly into mischievous and skill swap into why not Okay, and then I'm gonna switch into my Macargo with mischievous 
fly myself, get burned, eat the Lumberry, that's fine. And then I switch into Mischievous and Will-O-Wisp. Oh, it's struggle. Okay, it's struggling. Okay, cool. So then what do I want to do here? Um, I want to, I guess, skill swap into this slot and switch to my Ments. Okay. And then I want to go for Shadow Ball here and uh, Declaw. Okay. This thing has a berry, so I can just kill it. Leftovers, Encore, Counter, Mirror. Yeah, this should be fine. Just kill it. Okay, cool. Not bad. All right, cool. Not bad. Two done. This music slaps, so we're going to play it. Oh, Mistress is faster. Oh, yeah, my last one was from like four months ago. Um, next up is Hexmaniac Kindra and guitarist <gasps> Fernando. Which seems like a pain to me. So let's see here. They lead off with Mischievous with Quick Claw, Thunder Hypnosis, Psychic Shadow Ball, and Genjar. It's Mischievous, Genjar, Kingdra, Electric Explode, Lady Colo. Um, the Electro at least doesn't have Quick Claw. The other ones do. Fernando. I'm pretty sure I can just dumpster this Ductrio. Level 100, outspeeds. Yeah. Does my Salamence outspeed? Level 100. Salamence doesn't even kill. What the heck is up with this Electro? It's super bulky. All right, well, I can just use Ment's Dugtrio here, I guess. Let me think about this. If I use Ment's Dugtrio, let's see. If I kill the Electrode right away, that brings in with Ment's and Dugtrio. That would bring in the 50-50 Lily -50 Cole Explode. And the Explode has... Well, Lily Cole would be fine, but if Explode came in, it'd be kind of bad, I think. Who else do I have that's fast? Nine Tails. I doubt nine tusk because electrode. Turn the rain off. Sorry, one sec. Nine tusk doesn't kill. Okay, who else do I have that's fast? I have my own mischievous, but that's not very good. Um. Yeah, the issue is like Doug Trio. It doesn't have to be Mens though. It could be somebody else, right? It could be any mon that's immune to ground. It doesn't care about mischievous, which is like who. Gyarados could be nah the mistress is thunder, I can't use Gyarados. Um Um this trigger's actually kind of annoying. I could also just not care about the explosion, but I pref I think I should care about the explosion. Um Tropius isn't gonna work. Um, alternatively, I can kill the- no, I can't kill the right side first. Um, because the Electro will go boom on me. Oh, the Electro is endure anyway, so I might not even be able to- We didn't need Relicanth, it was never coming to leave for. It was, um, and Dr. both- uh, we haven't lost any mons that were planned, that weren't really planned. That- that also mattered. The only mons we lost that were unplanned were Tentacruel and Berloom, effectively. Um, and that was- that doesn't matter at this point in the game. Wait, how do I beat this trainer? Also, how many other totals? So, we've, we've done two of them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six left. And then we get the encounter. So, okay. Is this also where I get Jigga Drain? I can't recall. All right, what am I gonna do for this? I really wanna kill the right side first, but in order to do that, I would need to use mons like that don't care about Electrode. Like Steelix doesn't care at all, right? Level 100 Steelix takes 11% from this. Iron token kill. Okay, so Steelix plus... Do I have any other bulky ground type? I have Steelix or like a Mon that resists. Like how does our Maldo handle the Electro, I guess is my question. Level 100 or Maldo. Doesn't care about Mischievous, always kills this. And then how about the Electrode? It has Reflect as the issue. I really prefer to kill it outright. My Cloyster survived. It's weird. Yeah, we're gonna bring torture to leave for most likely. Oh, Grace. There's no, it's 80th. You really think it's been 80? You think you really think we reset for Sceptile that many times? That's crazy. I mean, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't counting. Uh, how does Gyarados do here? Gyar I can't use Gyarados. Um, I have Mons in my party. None of these are ground immune except for Mens and Mischievous. Oh, what, what about my own Mischievous? 
versus their mistress. Shadow Ball kills. Alright. But it's Quick Claw, right? Uh, yeah, the right side all is Quick Claw, which is a little spooky. That being said, I don't think their mistress can do anything to me. Yeah, they need crit. Um, and they need to actually hit the right move and knock like hypnosis. So I'm kind of down here. Let's see, if I have Mischievous Doug Trio, um, it always brings in Exploud, and it always brings in Genjar. Okay, and then we have then we have Doug Trio versus Exploud. Exploud. Earthquake just kills. Okay, I'm just gonna keep earthquaking then. I'm just gonna do Missy Dougie. Mr. Vis Doug Trio, and then I just still need to serve from Waterfall, so those can come. Right, and then for the Ludicolo, I should probably bring. I'll bring, like, I don't know. Ludicolo is Jiggy Drain, Waterfall, Teeter, and Ice Beam. I'll bring Fori again. I kind of want Fori plus Armaldo here, I think. Oh, wait, I need, I need Mence. Mence is a nice backup, because it's flying. I can't get out of it otherwise. Um, I wouldn't use Ludicolo this fight, truthfully. I think I'm going to consolidate and put. I'm going to put Waterfall over. Hydro Pump here. That lets me clear up an extra spot, so that way I can bring Armaldo as well. And I'm never cooking Hydro Pump again. Where's my Armaldo? Although the last mods here are water types, so. Like, actually, Kingdra's better here, right? But, it, uh. Yeah. Hmm, it's kind of tricky. I want, one, I want one consolidated mod for this. So I guess Starmie's best, but then for this specific fight, I'd rather have Kingdra, right? Eh, yeah. I guess I'll just bring Armaldo. I mean, I don't really want to use Armaldo for this. I'll bring Gyarados for this fight specifically. Make sure everybody's Lumberry. Who doesn't have Lumberry right now? Just meant Gyarados and Dugtrio. Okay, and then level up to 100. Killing the Metaverse with Blazing won't beat out Drachi. Uh, yeah, we're not, I'm not the, Steven is its own thing. Steven, the goal of Steven is to build a team that can beat, like, 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 you don't need six mods to beat Steven. The mod, the trainer I'm worried about is Glacia. Because my Ludicolo is not Swift Swim, which makes things a little bit awkward. Right? Let's see here. Okay. I don't think I talked to Army Waterfall yet, right? Oh, Jared, this is wonderful. All right. Third trainer's here. Dougie Missy should be fine here. Okay. I kill this with Earthquake. I kill this with Shadow Ball. Dies. Dies. Kill this with Earthquake. Kill this with Shadow Ball. Earthquake Claws. Nice. Dies. Okay. And then switch this into my... This is Water or Ice Moves, right? So let's just Dougie into this and then just Shadow Ball this. Experience. That's annoying. I got the Claw. And I will... I'm just gonna have frustration and shadow ball in case of double quick claw. Nice. Nice beam and then back. Nice. GG. Okay, cool. Alright, next up. Birdkeeper Alberto. Skarmory, Starmy. I should be living with electric types here. Let's see. It might be time to lose Electabuzz finally. Let's see. Okay, Electabuzz, kill Starmory, Pelipper, and Swallow. Um, I'm just gonna use Electabuzz Lantern here, I think. Double electric type, just like beat down the left side, and then just, I don't really need Gyarados anymore. Although it is a good mod. Electabuzz Lantern, Quick Claw. The Starmie's a little spooky, right? Um, I need Mens. The right side only has Twistment Earthquake, so these two should be coming. Um, for Claydol, Metagross should lose to. Metagross is Earthquake? Okay. So then I can double out into 1, 2 and finish the game from there. Where's the color? Okay, that's gonna be fine. I'll let the most piece of lantern leads. This one very everywhere. Electabuzz has not been super useful, to be honest. This is my third run past Watson, yes. We're getting there, chat. We're getting there. We haven't made it through Victory Road yet either, so we like still have to do a couple more things like Victory Road, Jiggy Drain, Hard Scale stuff, whatever. But we need to get the last encounter. That's like because I can't plan until I get it. Kangaskhan is Victory Road. Its IVs aren't great, but you know, it's, like, it's better to have. We almost got we should have gotten Metagross. I messed up. 
I don't know what our E4 team is looking like. That's why I can't plan. And the reason I can't plan is because I need to finish this section. It's, it's not like the trainers are hard. You just need to be like not lazy. Yeah, I'm gonna give Lumberry to everybody. I don't think Lumberry is even necessary for this fight, but it doesn't hurt. Lum, lum, dun, lum, lum, lum. Slumber is just like a good catch all item, right? Messer getting meta. I was. I didn't prepare well enough until it killed itself with double edge recoil. Which is unfortunate. I don't know if we would have brought it, but I would have liked to have the option. I definitely beat myself up over that, because that could definitely be. I might regret that later, since it is a Glalie answer, which is something I'm lacking right now. Oh, I don't have the waterfall yet. Starmie. Come on, Hydro Pump. No, you're not again. Right, but these two, I think that looks like a bird keeper to me, so I think this is new. Oh, Alright, this isn't it wasn't. Got the PP. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna target down this side. Protect. It's unfortunate. Get those that protect. Uh Electivus is probably faster. I'm down to just to double T bolt here. Oh it's, it's oh that wasn't that wasn't smart. That was stupid. Um it's okay, it's just like the buzz. It's the only earthquake. Okay. Sorry, like the buzz. You were not very good. <laughs> oh, I probably shouldn't have sacked you. Bye bye. I guess I could have checked if I was faster. Probably should have done that. Okay, um. All right, we're higher. One, two, three, four, only four left, cool. Um, this is, everything is quick claw. Literally everyone is quick claw in this round. That's why it's so annoying. Um, cast form lead, Hydro Bump, Ice Beam, Thunder, Rain Dance. Heracross lead, Brick Break, Megahorn, Brick Break, Facade, Protect. Like, I would like to leave Mence here, but I can't, right? Because the cast form. So I'd like to kill the left side first here. It's also Destiny Bond, Quick Plus, Quillfish, which is annoying. I think Guardies are pretty solid mod for this. Do I have Mon that has speed and kills? How's my Kingdra do here into the cast form? The issue is I could just get Quick Claw, right? I mean, Gyarados is pretty solid here, except for the fact that... I'm, is there any mods over here that can be used? Oh, why are you over here, buddy? Get back over here. Like, Polyrath could come. It's not impossible. I wasn't able to use Pelt for a single time. Um, does someone die to cast one here? No, not at all. Super not at all. Um, if I kill with Mets, who comes in? Solomon should bring in... Who's this? Kaylee? Mets brings in the... There's a Masquerade on this team. I didn't even notice. Okay. We want to kill the left side first here. Um, Mets brings in the Whiskash. Um, so I want to, I think Mence lead is solid here. Maybe Mence plus Missy and just kill it out, right? Here's Mr. Spring in. The issue is that the Wish Cache is also annoying. Wish Cache is bringing a Quillfish as well, which is, er, yeah, this brings a Quillfish. Um, does Dug Trio survive a Hydro Pump? Not in rain. It does, okay. Does Dug Trio bring in any mod in particular? Dug Trio also brings in Wish Cache, so I could do Dug Trio plus... Um, Mence here to always bring in a Whiskash. Wait, Mence could die to crit, quick claw crit Ice Beam, right? I don't think it wants to go for Ice Beam, but I, it's not worth risking, right? There's no reason I should, I should risk it. Um, I could also use something like Medicham Fake Out, but I don't know what to use. Medicham isn't really that good. It don't, it don't, it's only good because it does Detect. It was really good for that, though. Um, hmm, this isn't like hard, it's just so much work to do. I want to just, I basically just want to smack these mods with neutral, like, right? 
the cast form. Um, what does Kinder do here with Octazuka? Doesn't kill. Um, it's like a solid mon though. But I definitely want to kill the cast form side first, right? I guess basically what I want is a mon that brings in Quillfish, right? Which needs, it needs to be Poison Week, which isn't going to fly because none of my mons are Poison Week that I can bring. Or what other moves? They could also be, they can't be Water Week, right? I can't believe Dugtree brings in Whiskash. It's crazy. That seems so wrong to me. Uh, Prima Null, no, thank you very much for the tier one. Hungry Bear, thank you for seven months. Um, this is annoying, I'm not going to lie to you. This Heracross, I don't want to kill the right side because they all have Protect, you know? I want to kill the left side. I could do Mence plus Medicham, right? Like, because that Fake Out plus Solomon's doesn't kill Casper, but it will with Fake Out Chip. Yeah, Mence after a Fake Out will kill. So I could do Mence Medicham, but then that's a 50 50 in terms of who it brings in. Which I don't particularly like, to be honest. Um. This should be easy, but I can't figure it out. Alternatively, how does Polyrath do here? Probably pretty good, right? It's slower than Cat's even though it kills. Polyrath, what? What are you doing? Oh, alternatively, alternatively. I mean, yeah, this baits. I mean, Medicham could just go for, like, Brick Break, right? And kill. But I'm still slow. Oh my god, my, my, even my Medicham is slower. My, my fighting tips are really mediocre. And then I could use Kang as well. But no, I can't use, no, I can't use Kang. It's stupid. Um. It should be easy. Cast from Whiskash Coalfish. Um. Who does Lantern bring in? Lantern brings in Whiskash? Really? It's a ground type. Oh, yeah, it's a ground type. Actually makes sense. The issue is if I ever bring in the. Quillfish, it's pretty bad for me. I can't use Kang. I can use Kingdra. Kingdra brings in Quillfish. Solomon's Medicham would always kill the cast form, but then it would be a 50-50 in terms of Whiskat or Quillfish in terms of who it brings in. I'd probably be getting Sludge Bomb into Ments. Oh wait, but in that position, I can just switch into... As long as are okay, actually in that position I can just go Fory and start and kill the right side from there, right? Because the Coalfish can't touch Fortress, as long as I have another mod that can't be damaged, like Steelix, right? Fortress Steelix is probably fine here, and then kill the right side. I'm baiting Shadow Ball, so I save switches as well, that's fine. Um Mance, Fory. Um uh, Steelix. I need Starmie for the buttons that it presses and then like or medicham fortress steelix um this only kills the heracross though so it's actually that doesn't work right even though i can ignore the right side it doesn't really work because like at some point masquerade is going to switch in although it wants to click hydro pump into my mons right so i have a safe switch out there it doesn't, it doesn't really work um huh man why is this difficult for me Also, the Quillfish could, or the Whiskash could just switch in here, which would be bad. Yeah, I don't like this plan at all. Um, I really just want to smack these mods with, like, things that don't care, you know? Um, the other annoying thing here is that Dugtrio definitely kills. But I could die to certain crits, like, which is annoying. So Dugtrio kind of just dumpsters this team. I wish I'd follow me token kiss. Um, dog, I don't know. This is difficult. <laughs> I'm having so much trouble for something that should be pretty easy. I could, I mean, like if I really wanted to try hard, I could just pre damage Medicham and kill with that, right? 
Should we just Dougie bring in? Brings in Whiskash. Does Whiskash even survive? Who am I fighting against? Kaylee, right? Oh my god. Okay, Dugtria just like dumpsters this team, but. Oh. Huh. Like, I don't really want to pre-damage Medicham for this, although it might even be faster at this point. Nah. Um, I don't know why I'm in so much trouble here. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do Kingdra, Gyarados, Tropius, Foratrus. Kingdra, Gyarados, Tropius. I need Mints, obviously. Um, I'll bring Medicham here. I should be able to switch it in somewhat safely with Fake Out. Yeah, this is my Mons. No, I need to Surf Mon as well. I don't need Steelix here. I, oh, I'm using Kingdra. Kingdra, Gyarados. Tropius. This should be fine. Item check. I think low on everybody's fine. Okay. With Zerg plus speed, it is not plus speed torch. So it will not outspeed Jirachi, but it's still a pretty good laser gun overall. No surf yet. Oh, my Kingdra has the wrong moves, right? Kingdra's water for the both of waterfall. And waterfall for surf. I was literally ice beams, so it's not really good. I really need anything here. Okay. Okay. I think I remember. Okay, this is these two. I mean, this, this is a little spooky, but I think it should be fine. I'm gonna go for Octazuka into the cast form and switch into Tropius. Next, nice, I get the crit. That was actually bad. But I can just do this. Tazuka drops accuracy, okay. This Quillfish is a little annoying. I'm gonna... Octazuka here and switch to Fortress. Rain Dance, I could've killed it. It's my bad. Just getting protects. Just the Quick Claw. Oh, double Quick Claw, huh? I'm going to go for Surf here, and Flash Cannon, okay. The issue with this is that I'm pretty sure it's going to want to start using Destiny Bomb soon. Zuka kills, Sludge Bomb, Octazuka kills, switch to Medicham. Oh wait, that was stupid. Okay, it's fine. Just double out into, this was baiting Shadow Ball and Sludge Bomb, so let's switch to this and this. Okay, and then... Switch this into Tropius, and this into Medi. No, sorry, this into Medi Chan. This into Tropius. Destiny Bond, that's really annoying. <laughs> switch this into Gyarados, and this into this. Destiny Bond again. Okay, switch this. I need that. Wait, I need Gyarados to go into this, and then this to go into this. Destiny Bond, okay, this goes into. The Shadow Ball goes into the Gyarados, the Slug Bond goes into Tropius, and the Fori. Okay, I think that's Thoughts PP pretty soon. So this is Gara switch into Medicham, and then this switch into this. Shadow Ball, perfect, and I can go for Fake Out plus Chica Okay, not bad. 
No Elite Four today. We haven't even beaten Victory Road. This is gonna be a quick stream. I'm literally just trying to blitz through and get to, um, with three more trainers left so I can get my last encounter so I can start thinking about Elite Four. So this is Wendy. Three left. Okay. Um, Mantine, let's see, I'm pretty sure it's all quick again, right? The left side is all, or the right side is all protect mons. It's probably better to ignore them and just put mons in no care. This is again, five quick claw mods and thick claw Marowak, but their left side all has protect, so it makes more sense to kill the right side first. Um, I mean, this is a very easy fight for Lantern, who wants to go here. Oh, wait, the right side is Lightning Rod, right? Yeah, so I can't actually use Lantern. It's quick claw Mantine as well, which is annoying. Um, and it has HP Grass as well, so like a lot of my mods aren't gonna work here. I assume this right is Lightning Rod, right? Braxton. It's static actually. Okay, cool. So I can use Lantern here as a lead. So Lantern to KO the Mantine. And then that's fine. And then that would bring in Dodrio. So I would like a Mon that is slow, but yeah, I don't really know. Lantern here. But the issue is my Lantern is just kind of fast. And this isn't that fast, right? Venture everybody who's probably not coming here. Who, like, we don't know if it's coming. Um, uh, Mago Berry is its own thing in this game. Lantern will bring in Dodrio. Um, the issue with this is that I don't, I need a model that's slower and is also rock type, like Armaldo. But is Armaldo in range of Mantine? Mantine kind of sucks, but I not be in range. Let's see. So Lantern is probably slower than this, right? Okay, Lantern gets the kill and is faster. Okay, cool. And then Armaldo is slower. At level 100, I'm not really in any danger here, actually. Okay, I'm down for Armaldo here to try and kill everything. I don't want to use Gyarados yet, but um, Armaldo's fine. Here, I think I'll need these two. Go for Ancient Power plus Thunderbolt, which kills. And then brings in Gyarados or Dodrio. Ancient Power should do really well into both of them and then finish off from there. And then for the right side, I mean, still have Lantern, which is solid, and then Marrow to ride on. I just need, I mean, I have an Intimidate Mon. Um, I want to bring, I can bring Dodrio here, probably. They don't have Flying types, right? They do. They, they're all Flying types, okay. But Dodrio is still solid here. And then, like, Gera, and then who else? Um, I should probably bring a Rock Resist, so, like, Steel Steelix actually kind of dumpsters the whole right side, so let's use Steelix here. Oh, Raichu's Lightning Rod? Really? That could be bad, right? I'm gonna have to rethink my plan. I guess I should assume it's Lightning Rod, even though it doesn't explicitly say it. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're, you're right, you're right. It's, it's definitely Lightning Rod. I gotta rethink this plan. So Lantern's actually not gonna fly here. So ideally, I'd want to smack this thing with multiple rock moves, right? But this double battle, so like... I seriously doubt that Salamence Rock Slide's gonna kill him. This thing has Ice Beam, so I can't risk it. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't work. Um, okay. So Dug Trio is good here, but it's just out of Quick Claw. Um, Lantern's not gonna fly here, actually. These fights are like more annoying than anything. I don't know what other mods I have that are so I have Kabutops, but Kabutops is gonna be fast enough, but it this thing has HP Grass and the Raichu is a oh, Thunder. Yeah, Kabutops is fast enough in one shots, but they have, um, I don't die to anything here, but I do die to a, to a double up, which would be bad, and then I'd be in really bad shape. But I don't really want to, like, I would love to use Dugtrio here, but I'm risking some bad RNG, right? Since Hydro Punch just outright kills me, so I can't use Dugtrio. Um, I can use a mod that doesn't care, like, I can just use special mods, basically, if I want. Mantine's kind of bulky, I'm not even gonna lie. Mistress is 45%, how much does Double Edge Kingdra doing? Level 100. Okay, it doesn't help. I can do Mistress Kingdra here and lead. They're bulky, they're specially bulky mons that are like pretty solid. And then after I get rid of the Mantine, I can just Ice Beam away through the rest of the mons. Um, I'm still gonna bring Armaldo here because it's a super solid mon. I don't want Dugtrio in the end. I don't think I want Steelix here because both these mons can be in some danger. Um, I do want to bring Fortress instead, I think. 
No, that should be Steelix, right? No, Fortress is better. All right, it's fine. I'm bringing everybody here, right, cool. Surf and Waterfall again, should be fine. I didn't fully think this through, but it should be okay, I think. Hold on. Cause I can just bully down the Mantine. Take out the slot, which is this plus this. Protect, kill. Dodrio, okay, psychic plus. Um, I mean, ice beam probably kills. I'm down to just shadow ball here and ice beam here. Okay. And then I'm down to psychic plus ice beam. Oh, they both have protect. Oh, I'm down to psychic plus ice beam. Okay, double, double protect. Thank you, game. Double edge, okay. Now I'm down to shadow ball plus ice beam. Okay, and now I'm done. This thing does not have, um, this thing does not have Quick Claw, so I'm done. just kill it. This thing does have Quick Claw, but I'm down to Psychic Plus Surf. Not bad. Okay, GG. Okay, fly back. All right, I think two left. All right. How many left? Um, there are two left, and then we can get the encounter. So we're nearly done here. This is slaking Genjar with. S oh wait, this trainer is actually difficult, right? Quick claw slaking Genjar. Hmm. And it's a true double battle, so it's not something that I can just kill one side and then win, you know? Okay. Slaking Genjar lead. Uh, skill swap Genjar. I mean, I can just lead with mods that don't care, right? Like, Armaldo. This is Slaking. Armaldo. How, does he, how do you do here? It's Quick Claw Slaking, so I don't want to mess around with it too much. Yeah, I don't take any damage from anything with Armaldo, and then... If I kill the Slaking with, like, Armaldo, for example, that would bring in Starmie. Um... I just keep Utops dead. It could just be Forged as well. Because Superhero doesn't actually kill, which is interesting. Um, what I could do is use Salamence here as a lead. Because Fly isn't going to kill, right? Uh, do I not have push clock hit? No, I don't. Okay. So I could use Fly Mence here. Fly does how much? Fly does only 41% here to the Slaking. Um... Interestingly enough, so do I have Armaldo? I don't really want to use Superpower right out of the gates, but I guess I could. That's my only option. I could kill if I use Superpower as the issue, so Mence doesn't really work here. Um, what about like Dive Kingdra? Because that would do the same thing, right? It's not like I need the Intimidate or anything. Okay, how about Dive Kingdra? Dive only is 41%. Why is that? Oh, Dive is 60 base power in this game. Is that really it? So then the 60 base power? I don't have it. Who's dive? Nobody has dive. Sixty, okay. Alright, cool. So then I guess I should smack this thing with something else. Um this is bringing in Starmie, right? I don't really want to use mischievous here because of obvious reasons. Bootops, how do you do? Not bad. Let's get Bootops bring in. Kudrin's Rigs and Ninjask. Alright, that's not great. Um, I have a 25 level advantage in my Polyrath. Is too slow and doesn't even kill. What is the, what is my honestly on honestly honestly honestly? Let's be angry. Okay, I need to think about how I want to structure this. Right, my the goal is to pick up the turn turn two right and KO both, or go for turn one and get a double kill, which isn't looking super likely. Right. I have some good mod. Like I can ignore the slaking for a little bit, but it's not gonna work for me in the long run unless I want to do like. I could do like I could use like Gyarados lead and then switch turn one into like Fortress.
Like, what I could do is use... Like, if I use Armaldo Fortress, what I could do is... Armaldo into the Ginger turn one. I should maybe- I should probably still get the damage down, right? Do I get the one shot here? I do, okay. Our Maldo turn one can AP. I can use like Mets here as lead. AP into the- so they can get some damage down. And then switch to Fortress turn or switch to Fortress turn one and AP the Slaking. And then AP the Gender, I get the one shot. And then that brings in Starmie and get the, go for a Signal Beam. And that, that brings the kill as well. And then Flygon would be in guaranteed. And I'm baiting like Superpower plus- Oh, Flagon might go for EP into me though. Let's see, into my Armaldo. It's just a huge deal. Armaldo, level 100 versus Flygon. Like, AP doesn't even do that much damage, is the truth. Um, I think these three are pretty solid. And I can just pivot between like Mence and then Bulky Mons, like Steelix, for example. Do like Kingdra and. Yeah. Like Kingdra plus, like, I don't know, Starmie is probably solid here. Nothing here threatens my bulky mons, right? So I can just do one, two. It's Fortress. I think it's under my party already. I want Kingdra actually. Yeah, Fortress, Armaldo, Kingdra. Should be fine, right? One, two, three. I like gonna be Healberries here because there's nothing that can actually do anything about that. Um, last mons. Like Stormy's not great. Kingdra, Gera, Steelix. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like this is a, you know, the best strategy you ever come up with, but everything should have berries as well. Like health recovery berries. Fergie berries if your attack is loaded, lowered. Armaldo can have figgy berry. Fortress can have figgy berry. Wait, which fortress is nature? It's mild. That's minus plus special player, minus like defense or something. Figgy, oh wait, no, you need Mago. You can have Mago, and then you can have no you need Figgy. Okay. Should be fine. This is the old couple. Cool. This should be fine. Nice. I see. It's not optional. Alright, let's give it a shot. Gender slaking. I'm gonna go into Fori and AP the slaking. Skill swap, Crush Clover is my defense. It's actually quite annoying, but I'm switching out soon anyway. Superpower does a little bit of damage. Get the kill here. Get the kill here. Flygon in, going to Mets. Uh, Excess doing the Flygon. He took the crit. Okay, um, what is the other thing I'm doing? Skill swap, Psychic. Oh, it is Ice Punch. It's probably seeing the kill with Ice Punch here. I'm gonna switch back into Fortress and kill this thing. Skill swap again. I don't understand. Okay, and then I can probably just this thing can't do any damage to me, right? So I can just flash him here and AP here. Okay, I got boosted, and then I went. Okay, cool. Nice battle. All right, one last chat, and we're good. One left, and then we get our last encounter of the run. Well, last one that matters. Okay, last trainers are. Oh god, it's like side toxic trainers again. Swallow. This is Jasmine and Frederick. So Jasmine, this is kind of annoying to be honest. Swallow, it's Swallow, Ursaring lead. Swallow, Crobat, Solomon, and then Ursaring, Heracross, Snorlax. Which is really annoying because the issue with this is that... Okay, if I kill their Maldo, I bring in Crobat. It doesn't have anything really good to do into me. I actually could do the same team again, I think. I'm just gonna do the same basic strategy. I'm just gonna do the same team again. It's fine. Armaldo carry. Armaldo molding. This time I should have Lumberry though, in case I get poisoned. It's facade, right? Yeah. Should be fine, I think. I 
I won't be like abusing it as much, but it should be fine. Just smacking things with Just like Armald on my way through, you know? This Armald has been so good. I wish it could come to I wish the HP if the HP ever were higher, I could let you look you could legit be an E4 mod. It's over here. Just down here. Calcium, I'm rich. Alright, cool. Alright, cool. Let's do these two. Okay, swallow plus this. I can the intimidates down, switch it to this. And AP this slot. This is toxic, toxic. Okay. Um, I switch into my. I don't actually have to switch here, right? I'm not under any pressure from anything. Q, toxic, lumberry, AP, damage. Okay, switch to this. AP this. Q, die. Okay, now I can kill this thing. Switch to this. AP. Maybe Q's again. Dead. Okay, cool. But, uh, this thing's moves are what? EQ, Mega Horn, Brick Brick Facade. I don't have no reason to stay in here. Alright, let's switch to EQ. Okay, Flash Cannon, switch back into. This is. This thing can't do anything to me, right? Really shouldn't be able to. Okay, this thing's moves are. Facade, EQ, Shadow Ball, Slack Off. I win. Alright, chat, we made it all the way to the end. Barry Master's house, and this one gives me Jigga Drain, I think. All right. This is now arguably one of the most important, of the run, important moments of the run. <sighs> we managed to do Route 123. So the thing about Route 123 is that I currently, let's take a look at my odds. I need to bring Mischievous, first of all. Mischievous is essential. Um, let's bench all my mods here. Except for Misty, so we can take a look at what we're dealing with here. This is a route where I have over a 50% chance of getting a normal type, and some of those are very good. So, slaking, a good slaking can carry the run, I think. Um, you can get Lax here, which I think is okay. You can get Mill Tank, and you can get Tauros. Um, a good normal type here would be really, really, really big. It's not essential, but it, like getting a, specifically slaking would help a lot. My odds of slaking are currently 18%. I have a 36% chance of Tauros and 18% chance of slaking. So that's a total of 54. 7% mill tank, that's 61. And another 4%. I have a 65% of a normal type um, encounter here. So I'm gonna prepare for those. So Tauros' moves are... Tauros, what moves do you have? Body Slam, Double Edge, Earth Power, Iron Tail. Okay, so for that, I'm on like Fortress is gonna be ideal. Um, I'll also bring Gyarados here for Intimidate. So I can get at least an Intimidate down. Um, on top of that, um, this is a catching thing. I think I'm gonna bring Cradilly here for Snorlax. Let's look at Snorlax really quickly. Snorlax. More won't sleep talk, double edge yawn. So I'm gonna bring Wobbuffet as well. Um, Wobbuffet allows me to at least encore no. Does Wobbuffet have safeguard? It doesn't, right? Shoot. Well, I shouldn't bring Wobbuffet in that case. Yeah, War won't sleep talk. I'll bring Artillery here, potentially. Um, since these are sackable mods that I don't need anymore. And then, let's see, so it's Tor that's Snorlax, so now we just need Slaking. What are Slaking's moves? Slaking's moves are Slack Off, Double Edge, Crush Claw, Superpower. So we have Mischievous. So Mischievous and Scaredos beats that, that's fine. Um, I think these five are pretty good. That covers Tauros, that covers, um, I kind of want them on Recovery, to be honest. Do I have any, I don't have any good Recovery mods, except for Macargo, who doesn't work. And Tropius, who's its own issue. Um, I can bring out Maldo as well. I think this, these, these mods are pretty good. The issue is I don't know this. oh, I can use Artillery for Surf. And then everything can have Citrus Berry here, except, yeah, or like, maybe not Citrus. I guess in the case of Yawn Snorlax, I guess it's okay. Nah, I should probably be Fiki Berry. What nature are you? Mild. Okay. Let's get some more candies up in here. All right, this, yeah, this is kind of a... Uh, not to overstate it. Slowbro has recovery? Oh yeah, I should bring Slowbro here. I guess Slowbro instead of Armal though. Do you need a Flymon? Um, I don't need a Flymon anymore, right? I'm pretty sure. But I'm gonna need one in the meantime to buy more candies. Oops, I gotta do buy more candies. I also wanna bring Slowbro instead of my Armal though, and then Salamence. I don't want to bring Salamence like for real, for real, because it can die too long. It can just like straight up die. It would be like Tauros or Slaking Crit, for example. Wow, 
water spout. All right, I guess it's going to be. Kang, Kang is alright, but you don't really, like, I, like, I'm worried about Glalie right now. So a mod that can beat Glalie, even Tauros can't beat Glalie, as I recall, though. Like, even I, because I had, like, been pretty much max attack Tauros last time, and it couldn't kill Glalie consistently. So, yeah, I mean, like, Tauros can replace Mench, though, which might change some things. Like, I feel like, I'd feel better about Tauros versus the Titar. Yeah, we'll see. We don't really know. Like, this is still very up in the air. Um, I don't think I need, I don't think I get trapped after this. Like, I can leave. Here. Um, I bench two and I bench here, Gara. Okay. So I need surf here. I don't think we're ready to go. So alright chat. Prage. Oh, I already have surf. That's all right. Like I had very good Taurus last time. I really hope we can get slaking. It's a one in five basically. So it's pretty good. Like very it's honestly not bad on at all. We can also get a mon like Arcanine, Skarmory, like mons that unfortunately just, like I loved Arcanine last run, but like if it really was a homie, it would stay away this time. We, can, we have like a small chance, we have a, the, not a zero chance for for, um, for Miltank as well. I don't know if Miltank's any good. Probably not is my guess, but you never know. I think I haven't looked at it at all. All right, chat, ready? We've got Mirror B playing. Got Mischievous in the lead. I guess before I do anything, I should go up. Oops, well, here we go. Slaking. Wob, okay, it's fine. It's a dupe. Wait, I can't go up here? Oh. Okay, get you good drink. Cool. Alright, chat. Hi, got it right. Slaking, 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 please! This is a dupe, okay. Good thing we got that Medicham earlier. Slaking? Tauros, okay, that's still a good mod. Intimidate? Okay, intimidate. This thing's moves are. This might be a men's replacement. Body Slam, Double Edge, Earth Power, Iron Tail. So let's get an Intimidator 2 down. Body Slam, I did a lot of damage. I think that was a crit. Body Slam, I'm gonna just stand here for a little bit. I gotta catch this thing. It is Double Edge, so I don't wanna damage it. Might have to damage it though. It's looking like I might need to double damage it. Maybe I should have Lepa on Slowbro. Oops, I heard. Drop this, you switch. All right, Gary, don't die. Nice. Please. Please. Oh, I only have three ultra walls left. Defense drop. After this, okay. please. Oh, that's actually bad, right? Oh, it lowered my defense. I got switch. Okay, it's not working, obviously. Oh, I got switch. Okay, I was lucky. It was actually going kind of badly, I would say. I've used timer. I wasn't doing anything. I'll wait a little longer. Once it goes to half health, I'll use timer again. I should just slack off here. Okay. Okay. Please? <sighs> if I fail this one too, I'm gonna feel super dumb. Please, it's shaking a bunch. There we go, okay. All right, let's see. This is very unlikely to be as good as my last one, but shot. Okay, not bad. I think we're done here. Been here before. All right, chat. It a slaking would have been super nice here, but let's see. All right. So ideally we want plus attack or plus speed, I guess, but plus attack is ideal. Oh boy. We have two really good normal types, but I don't know if either of them are even going to come. Let's see. Plus attack Taurus, please. Neutral nature, that's fine. I mean, it's not great, but it's fine. It's as if I synchronized it. Let's check IVs. All right, here we go. Two attack IV. 
12 HP, 2 attack, 18 defense, 12 special defense, 18 speed. This is going to be really scuffed. This run's going to be really scuffed. I do not know how I'm supposed to be Glacia. <sighs> we didn't need Relic. The Relic was never coming to the Elite Four. It was too slow. My, my IVs didn't good. weren't good. It was an intentional sack. Um, I mean, I'll just calc it really quick to see if I missed something, but I'm pretty sure that this Taurus is not usable. It's okay. Failing Metagross really hurts me. I think that's where I messed up. I shouldn't have failed Metagross. Yeah, like, okay, okay, honestly, I don't know if Taurus was ever coming. Uh, like, if it was coming, I don't know if it was ever better than Mence. Because even with 31 attack, IV Adamant, it still doesn't kill Glalie. This Glalie is just, like, crazy. Um, does this thing two-shot Tyranitar? Let's see, because that's the other thing, right? With Soft Sand, I can two-shot Tyranitar, right? No, I actually don't two-shot Tyranitar. Or it's a 46% chance. Alright, this thing is really bad. Okay, Jirachi. It doesn't two-shot Jirachi. This thing is really useless. It doesn't two-shot Jirachi. It doesn't two-shot... Yeah. Last time... You used Dust Clubs last time for Glalie? Yeah, I did. It just lets Spikes get, like, get set up, which is really bad. Um, yeah. Okay, it's okay. I mean, like, only Slaking. Only a good Slaking would have saved me there. I'm not even sure if Slaking kills. To be completely honest, I don't even know if Slaking would kill, like, Glalie. You pretty much need a Rock type. Oh, it does. It super does. Yeah, I needed Slaking there. Unfortunate. Um, let me just do a quick check. I never use the Rock Tomb TM, right? That doesn't really help me. I would need to use Rock Tomb on a Mon, like, yeah. Yeah, I still have the Rock Tomb TM. All right. All right, well. That's fine. Okay, cool. We're going to stream here for today, chat. Um, I just had to get this Mon so I can start planning um, for Elite Four. Um, but yeah, I'll figure it out. Uh, hopefully... Yeah, hopefully I can find something. But yeah, I'll do some work this weekend, and then we'll be back Monday with more more content, probably. Um, okay, thank you for watching, um, and I'll see you all Monday. Bye-bye.